Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with my new old Tesla Model S from 2020 and I want to show you the air suspensions, pneumatic suspension, how they work. I will explain you a few things because I know there are many people that looking into those cars. Big difference between the new model and the, this old model is not because most of the uh, system is basically the same and also the settings are basically the same in the menu here. So it's good to show you because you know what to expect. Before I brought this old uh, Model S, I was also looking online for different videos for different things, including those air suspension and how they work, how we can adapt them and so on. And in this video, I want to explain you, I want to show you how it works so you can get some useful information at the end of this video. If you want to find out more about this car, I have a separate video on my channel, definitely check it out. Now, let me turn around the camera. Uh, we are in a parking lot. And first of all, very important in order to adjust the air suspension from Tesla Model S, all you have to do is just go here to the suspensions in the menu. It's very simple. Uh, it has his own, uh, yeah, uh, area, his own menu for the suspension. And immediately you can see uh, this car with the graphic of the suspensions. And you can also basically choose to have it here on the screen uh, while you're driving. So it shows you, uh, let me go to the suspension where it's here, suspensions. It shows you in real time what happened with suspensions because it has this uh, adaptive suspension in real time. And not only that it is on the air, so the, yeah, the, the springs are on air, but also the damping system, it's electrically. So it's uh, electrically adjustable in real time. So it can adjust the compression and rebound in real time. What that's supposed to mean, you see in real time how the suspension will perform when you go over the bumps. So it's very smart stuff. You can see it there on the screen, but you can see it also here on the media, on the multimedia screen. So the cool part is that you can switch between different ride height. Here you can get a little bit more information. So it tells you that high and very high will rise the vehicle temporarily. So that's something to keep in mind. So it's just temporarily. It will automatically lower after a short distance enabling persist until through the gear icon button will hold the height until a speed threshold it's mid so I will show you in a second that selecting high and very high will automatically save the location and type of rise uh, you can remove the save location to prevent the vehicle from rising automatically upon returning to the location manually or by selecting the right height of um, medium or lower you can also remove it. I will show you that as well as, for example, what it's supposed to mean. For example, we have to go out of here and there it's a big bump. What we have to do is when we get close to the big bump, then you select, for example, very high, and then the car will rise to very high. And then you can also auto raise as this location, at this location, you can also select this one auto rise at this location. So next time when you come here, you don't have to go into the menu and rise the suspension because the car will know it'll save the position. It will rise automatically exactly in this area when you come next time, which is very smart. Again, if you go to very high, which means 17 centimeters, you can also go here and says persist until 24 km per hour. Keep in mind, you cannot drive faster than 24 km per hour on a very high. The suspension on very high, they are pretty high, I would say. So it's pretty clearance, a lot of clearance. And you can go also over the bumps, which is so useful, at least in some countries or some areas where you have a lot of bumps and holes and speed bumps and so on. And then the next one down here, it's auto rise at least location and persist until 24 km per hour. If you don't want to persist until 24 km per hour, you just uncheck that and the car will just go up and then it will go immediately lower. Geo fence it's also activated so the car will know where to rise and how to rise. If we go to high then here again on the high which means 16 centimeters that means you have a higher speed as well persist until 56 km per hour so you can drive up to 56 km per hour and then the suspension will automatically go down and then auto rise at this location the same story apply on the medium is no save nothing happened it's just on medium most of the time the car will drive in medium which means 14 centimeters and all the way low to 13 centimeters that's recommended when you go on the highway high speeds not too many bumps and 
potholes and all that stuff. That's great for aerodynamic, for economy. You will get a much better range if you drive on low. That's why it's also say here default ride high to low. If you want to do that, if you live in a country where yeah you have perfect roads, uh, like Switzerland, for example, and even in Germany in some areas, and you can go all the way low and then you just drive because you're improving the aerodynamic and the, the consumption of the car. But yeah, it's not the case here. Also, you can check this mark, use comfort damping in autopilot because a little bit higher, you have some settings. We will talk about them in a second. So keep in mind, first of all, lower 13, medium 14, 16 high and very high 17 centimeters, which is great. Some SUVs or crossover maybe, yeah, more like uh, they have 17 centimeters as well. Then we go a little bit lower, also in real time it shows you what happened with suspension, but you can see even more details. If you go show suspension data, you can see right here, front left, front right, rear left, rear right, and you can see exactly for every single wheel what happened in real time with compression and dampers and all that stuff. So you can see compression damping 4%, rebound damping 0%, body acceleration, you can see the ride height, you can see the compression on damping. So if for example we go now all the way high, probably it's, you can see some infos, no, I guess it's only when you're driving you can see some infos around here. Anyway, let's hide this. Now here you have a few different settings for the suspension. If you want to have all the way comfort, you put it on comfort, the car it's gorgeous. It's like floating in the air most of the time on the highway. It feels fantastic and it feels good even with 21 inch rims, which I have now on the car. You have auto, so the car will choose for you automatically. You can see also some info here for adaptive suspension damping, adjust in real time to optimize both how comfort and ride feels and how the vehicle handles in response to your inputs. All modes continually adapt to changing condition regarding of which mode you choose. Comfort provide a gentle ride for a relaxed driving experience. Auto adjust to a wide range of driving style and roads to provide a balanced ride and a fluid yet control, uh, well control. Uh, sporty provide a firmer, more controlled ride than increasing drive engagement and connection to the road. Advance. Uh, allow you to customize ride comfort and vehicle handling independently. So you want a comfort, you put it here, but also keep in mind the car will still adapt depending on the road. Auto, the car will choose for you automatically, sport a little bit firmer. And the good part is that you can go even to advanced because sometimes when you drive in comfort, the car will most of the time stay in comfort, but in certain situations when you go a little bit uh, with speed and you go in curves, it's try to balance a little bit, give you also a little bit of um, dynamic. So if you don't want to have that, if you want to have it 100% comfort, no matter what happened, you go here to ride comfort and you have here five levels of um, yeah comfort. So you can go all the way soft or all the way firmer. So if you want a maximum comfort, you go advanced, you go soft and you have on handlings the same story, sport or comfort, you put it on comfort. And then you have that booty feeling, super comfortable car, which I really, really enjoy. So those are the settings. I wanna show you also outside, right now we are all the way very high. So I wanna show you what mean very high and how high it is and how much space you have here to the wheels. I will also close the door because the climatic system is running. This is the way it looks on very high. So you can see basically you have a pretty good ground clearance right now to go over the bumps. Also, you can see here a little bit of space up, a little bit higher space on the upper side. I will change, definitely change those 21 inch rims with 19. So I have a little bit more rubber and I'm really curious if it will go a little bit higher as well. And here, I guess I have, yeah. Okay, and on the rear, down here also pretty, pretty higher ground clearance. Definitely you can see it with your naked eyes also when it's on very high. And on the rear, kind of the same story apply. Uh, here you have higher, more place and down there. So yeah, overall from distance, this is the way it looks with all the way up on the higher end. And also down you have a little bit more space down there to go over certain areas. 
yeah, it's, it's so useful, man. It's so useful in certain cars. If you don't want to scratch it, even with the batteries, because the car have the batteries down there, you don't want to hit the ground with the batteries. So if you go to suspensions, if you go all the way low, where is it? I think it's working right now. Going all the way low. And we have to wait a little bit until the suspension are going down. So you wait until this round loading circle, it's done. And then you know when it's done, it's done. So it's just disappear from here. You don't have to do anything until there. Now, now, now the suspensions are all the way finished. So you can see lowering, disabled while door are opening. So you cannot do that. So you just, and then now they are all the way down. You see the difference? So less space on the upper side, much, much lower, and even in the back. So from here, you can see a little bit better. You see the car sits quite low. Man, it looks so nice, so sporty. When it sits low like that, it's so beautiful. And that's fantastic because you put it on all the way low on the highway, you have lovely, lovely um, aerodynamic. And also in the back here, less space up here as well. And also down there on the ground, right here, you have a little bit less space. So this is it. Yeah, so this is the suspension, guys. I hope you get some useful information from here. Anyway, anyway, I will have a video when I drive the car, test drive video with this car, and I will explain you a little bit more how the suspensions are working and what to expect and what is the feeling while you're driving the car. So stay close to get more information from the test drive video. So definitely check out that video as well. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and we see you soon in the next one. Don't forget to like, by the way, share, subscribe. And also, if you wanna buy a Tesla, no matter which model, you can use my referral link. I will leave it in the description, also on the screen. Definitely use it if you wanna have the discount. Plus, if you have question, whatever question you have, uh, please ask me, I will help you with everything. So thank you for watching, stay safe and see us in the next one. Bye guys.